We're gonna take a look at our updated 2023 winter vehicle safety kit. So these are items that we've selected to kind of add to our vehicle to better prepare us for this winter. Uh, and we've made a nice little kind of cheat sheet for everyone that's available for download. So on one side of our sheet, we have our vehicle winter safety kit checklist. So it goes through all the items there. You got some QR codes down at the bottom that overviews videos, as well as a, a click to order some supplies if you like. We don't carry all of this stuff. We really focus on uh, medicine with wild med kits. So first aid kits is kind of our main go-to and we'll go through that. Uh, but I wanted to look at overall kind of how I'm setting up my vehicle for this winter. And then we've done a uh, kind of preparedness tips and uh, tricks sheet on the other side here. So we've got some preparation ideas, vehicle breakdown plan, and winter vehicle safety kit kind of checklist. So this is going to be available at wildmedkits.ca and also in the description for this video uh, for free download. So just to go through our kit, all of this stuff here doesn't sit in the trunk of my car. This is all throughout and I'll show another video of kind of how I have this staged throughout the car, but I wanted to bring everything out here just to do a little overview of what I've got. Um, so let's go through it like section by section. So we got tools. Uh, so number one, I added this extra little tire iron. It has my lug nut size wrench on it and it's just a nice portable version. You could definitely get the uh, the star version as well, uh, but I found this is nice and small and it's really all I needed in here in addition to what comes with the car. Got some duct tape for quick repairs as well as some larger zip ties. And then in addition to that, we also have some paracord. So this is our TRD uh, paracord dispenser. So you just pull it out and you can really just pull out whatever amount you want. And it's got a little cutter up here. So you just feed it, sorry, through the cutter, pull it down and it cuts the, the paracord for you. So cool little system there. I just had a little Olight staged up here for light. Um, so we got a few repair items there. Uh, we have our seatbelt cutter and window punch. This hangs up by the uh, the uh, front door, so this is on the passenger side and the driver side. I have one on each. Then we've got a headlamp. This also is just hanging above my driver's side um, roll bar, so just a nice headlamp with a few different settings. So this is really good for any sort of work in the dark, which in the winter is a lot of the time. So we got that. Got a good pair of gloves, and I have actually a few pairs of gloves staged throughout the vehicle. Uh, new this year that I added, and this was really feedback from last year, was a tire repair kit. So it's not something I had a lot of experience using, but just watching a few videos, it seems like a fairly simple tool to use. Now, definitely, I would probably prefer to just change out my tire. I've got a good, you know, spare tire. I have a full size as a Jeep, so, you know, that's fairly easy for me to do. Uh, but this is also an option just to add to my ability to fix a tire, particularly in a remote location, to get me back to somewhere where I can get a, a better job done. So we've got that here. Then I've got a hatchet. Um, so this is really for like, I do a lot of uh, training and courses in sort of a remote kind of offside road. So if I had to clear some like debris or something, I've got a hatchet for that. Um, and also with that, just a little mini folding saw here. So just a couple little tools. Plus I'm camping usually out of this vehicle. So just kind of added tools if I forget my main stuff. Uh, a pair of multi-tools here. It doesn't matter the brand. I have, again, quite a few of these stashed. I think I have four in the vehicles. There's one there. I've got another one up here and there's another one in the glove box and I think on the driver's side as well. So, you know, I enjoy those tools. So I've got quite a few of them. Um, I have my tire inflator. So this is just one I picked up at Costco. It's worked really well. I've used it for about a year now. Um, it has the number right on it. So it, it does that measurement for you. It just plugs into the cigarette lighter. Um, so pretty easy little tool to use. I think it has a flashlight on it. I've never used that function, uh, but there is a kind of flashlight there. It has to be plugged in for that to work. Uh, then I've got a fire extinguisher. It's just a small one that I picked up at a hardware store. Uh, it just fits under my uh, driver's side seat. So I kind of keep it there ready to go. Um, it has a little mounting plate so you can mount it anywhere. But just a small fire extinguisher. It is rated for vehicles. So if there was a small fire, I could kind of at least have something more than nothing. Um, an extra bottle of windshield washer fluid rated for the winter. And then I've got my large snow brush with the extendo. Um, so this will cover the, the larger roof of everything. And then a small one, if I've got a helper to help me out, I got kind of two going there. Uh, we've also got a shovel. It's a pretty good size shovel. This was again, a Costco pickup. Um, so nice size shovel, it just folds out. 
Um, and this will allow me to dig out the car if I'm kind of buried in somewhere, which has definitely happened a few times. Uh, nice big reflective vest. I think this is a really key thing to have. If you're working on your vehicle, your tire, whatever on the side of the road, visibility is huge, particularly at night. So a nice high reflective vest that you can throw over. And I've got actually two of those in here uh, to keep with me. Uh, one of the more expensive items I added for sure was this big orange monstrosity back here. There's actually two of them. And those are action tracks. So they're traction boards. Uh, this is, you know, pretty overkill for most vehicles. It's very expensive. Uh, I bought it directly from Action Tracks, but uh, Max Max Tracks, I believe, make one too. And you can definitely buy cheaper ones, but just to, something to throw under the tire to get you out of mud, snow, ice is really worth it. I had an opportunity uh, last spring where I didn't have this and got pretty stuck in the mud and had to use some trees to get myself out, and it worked. Uh, but this is definitely a nice to have, a nice addition there. So added that in here. Um, set of jumper cables that I can hook up to another vehicle to jump myself or someone else. And then for myself as well, I picked up this NOCO and this is a battery powered jumper. So you can get these in all sorts of different levels. Um, I picked the level that was strong enough for my vehicle. So there's the, the NOCO Boost Plus. I got the thousand amp. They make bigger ones and smaller ones. It comes with the little jumper cables that hook up to it. And I check my power fairly frequently to make sure it's full. Um, so that's a good little set there and just provides me an ability to boost myself if I don't have someone else around, which is quite nice. Um, then we've also got some clothing back here. So I have a full set of my kids' clothing. So I got sweater, jacket, hat, and mitts in there, another set of hat and mitts, and another set of hat and mitts, and another uh, kind of windproof jacket down here. So just some extra clothing if someone forgets something um, or we need a little bit of extra warmth. And then speaking of warmth, we have an emergency sleeping bag. I've got a few of these stashed around, as well as I've actually got big uh, sleeping bags. So I've got one here, uh, one here, and then there is another one whoop, tucked over there. So we've got a few kind of stashed throughout the vehicle to keep us warm. I mean, warmth is one of those big things in the winter. If we're stuck somewhere, that's definitely going to be my first concern. Um, also down here, I have a sleeping pad. So this is more for like kneeling on the ground if I have to change a tire, uh, deal with some sort of repair, dig myself out. Just a nice little kneeling pad to keep myself off the ground. I've got a towel over here as well if I had to kind of dry myself or dry something up. Uh, some knives. I've got a Mora knife sitting over here. Again, just a, another little tool piece that I was able to stash. And then I've got some garbage bags here for any sort of cleanup or shelter signaling, whatever. Um, Ziploc bags, again, same sort of thing. It's a nice little vomit bag if you need it, cleaning up garbage, uh, just general purpose there. Some wipes. And then in here, I kind of have this little bin. I got a Canadian tire. So this is what I stash basically food and water in. So I have a cooler bag inside a bin. It keeps it from freezing. I haven't even had the water freeze really this winter at all with it being back and forth. And usually the vehicle is stashed in the garage as well. Uh, but in here, I've got a few things. So I've got a cup I can boil water in. I have a little uh, propane pocket stove. This is one of these little pocket stoves. And that just hooks up to these little tanks here. Just pull my little tank out. It's that little tank there. Um, it has a starter in it. And I've also got a lighter stashed in there. I'll go through that in a second. Down here, I've got some chem lights, another like little emergency banner thing I picked up at one point, more duct tape, another chem light, another chem light, a whole bag of fire starter. So some fire starters, a lighter, matches, some paracord, I'm not sure what else is in there. Um, that's basically just a little like fire starter kit. Oh, it's a ferro rod, I see it now. And then I have a little water purification bag. So I have a Sawyer filter. Uh, we sell the pristine ones too. It doesn't really matter. They're all about the same. Um, and I've got some Whirl Pack bags for water bags and some Aqua Tabs in there. So if I had to, you know, purify some water, we can do that. And then in the cooler bag here, it's just a cheapie that I picked up. I have um, some food. So these are all freeze dried meals. So I've got quite a few, some coffee, some, um, fruit bars, things that aren't going to go bad sitting in the car. Um, I've really Ziploc bagged this twice in this bag in the bin because we did have mice in here at one point. So just be cautious around food, storing it. I'm not sure how they got in, but they, they did. Um, so I keep it quite sealed up in here. And then in here, I also keep, I have some of those kind of like sea rations, emergency rations. 
as well as a whole bunch more Ziploc bags, uh, some bottles of water, some hand wipes, and I think I keep uh, have four bottles of water in there. You can definitely keep more or less. It's, it's really up to you, but that kind of does me. Um, other things that I printed off. I've got a map of our kind of area of Ontario here. So it's just one you can print off free from the web. I've ordered a road map as well. They're actually pretty hard to find these days. Well, that's definitely something I want to add in with power outages and, you know, I definitely lean on GPS a fair bit. So having that as a backup is a good one. Um, then some additional warmth items. I have this nice little survival candle. It comes in a tin. Um, so if I had to heat the car up, this gives it a little bit of a safer way. Definitely have to watch an open flame in a vehicle, but it gives me something uh, for some heat. I've got a solar powered battery bank. I just got this off Amazon. It works really nicely. It's also got a little flashlight in it, um, but it holds a fair bit of power. And then I've got the cables up front there uh, to charge the phone if I need to as well, because that's really kind of the mainstay item I've got. Uh, flashlights, I have a ton of these. Um, this has got a nice little like baton on it for, you know, flagging stuff down. I have these O-light O-bulbs around. Um, so I definitely have a few of those. I got another flashlight here in the headlamp because light's going to be a big thing. Again, darkness in the winter. Uh, then over here we have our stretcher. So it's actually just a full size. It's called the quick litter. Um, and it's a full stretcher that you can put a patient on. Uh, and drag them out of the way. So if someone was stuck on the road or I had to move somebody, uh, this just gives me an ability to move a patient. Then we'll go through our first aid kit here. So this is the first aid kit we make at Wild Med Kits and it's uh, designed to go on a headrest. So it just has a headrest mount there. It has a quick detach, so you can just grab the handle and pull it off the Velcro. Um, and it's also designed to hang and use in the vehicle. So you can just open it up. Everything rolls out, but nothing falls out. And it's all nicely organized here. So we've got kind of all of our trauma emergency stuff up top, even some PPE. There's an extra reflective vest in here, another seatbelt cutter, um, some vomit bags or urinal bags if you need to, all of our field guides, our trauma gear, CPR gear, and PPE. Then we've got some heat packs and emergency blankets, our splinting gear. There's another full headlamp that comes with this kit, which is super nice. Um, we've got more splinting gear, wound cleaning solution, and then down here is all of our wound care. So you got a bunch of gauze, band-aids, you know, swabs, gels, um, roller gauze tape, all that stuff. So it's just a nice little kit that kind of rolls up there for you. So that's an overview of our 2023 update for the vehicle safety kit. Looking forward to in the comments, any suggestions you all have. Uh, it's definitely an evolving kit. And I think every year I make changes to it, as should everybody else, because you really want to customize it to you. Uh, if you'd like to check out some of our kits and again, uh, get our free guide, uh, we all have that all available at wildmedkits.ca.